Welcome back to Director's Choice. The best thing to happen to cinemas and TV screens are animated shows. And if you disagree, you can argue with the entire fandom universe. From comic book adaptations like Marvel's Spider-Man to original animations like The Simpsons, cartoon shows have given us a clear window to childhood imaginations and proven that nothing is impossible. Most sincerely, love. Stephen, that's so beautiful. I know you might think I'm being sentimental, but this makes sense. Epic love stories rule the world and warm our hearts. And as you are about to see, they rule the animated universe too. Do you love me? Titans, gems, and every animated creature you can ever imagine all have the capacity to love. And today, we are going to take a look at some of the most captivating love stories from some cartoon shows. Who has the canon ship? Which couple started out as fan fiction? You are about to find out, so make sure you watch to the end for an awesome reveal. All right, let's get straight to it. Here is the director's choice of love stories from cartoon shows. Wanna go around again? I do. Starting us off at number 10 is the star couple of Teen Titans. Robin is the human leader of the Titans, and Starfire is a member and an alien princess. So, in the natural order of things, one wouldn't expect them to get together, but they did. Starfire's experience before coming to Earth was more than enough to make her very reserved and antisocial. But her positive energy struck out on top, and she is the most cheerful Titan. Robin, on the other hand, is more serious because he is the leader. There's nothing fun about looking like a bunch of stupid kids. We're heroes, Starfire. We don't take vacations, we don't make mistakes, and we don't have time for... For what? The two of them became fast friends on the cartoon show, but it took a long time and several heartbreaks from fans for them to actually get together. Robin was trying not to misunderstand his obligation as leader and friend with the growing feelings of Starfire. Eventually though, his walls come down and they start dating. Their relationship is very balanced because they both know how important it is to be loyal and reliable. They also know how to care for each other and it shows in their actions. Next up, we have Danny and his best friend turned girlfriend, Sam, from the supernatural world of Danny Phantom. Just like typical boy-girl friendships, they get teased, taunted and all, but shoved together as a couple. But they continue to deny it. Sam is a very independent girl, so it is easy to understand how she doesn't want to be rendered vulnerable to her feelings for Danny. And Danny, who is oblivious at first, longs after other girls while maintaining his friendship with Sam. She often saves him from dangerous situations by thinking fast, and sometimes with a kiss. I just have to warn you, I'm no pushover, you know. I still have my own way of doing things. That's what I'm counting on. More people, adventures, and evil tricks complicate the complex dynamics between Danny and Sam, until Danny's biggest mission. When she sends him off to go and save the world, Sam realizes that she needs to give him some motivation to come back safely. And he does. Sam gets Danny's class ring, and the two of them become an official couple. After seasons of anticipation from fans, the relationship between Sam and Danny has a more natural progression because they were already parts of each other's lives before they started dating. They had seen each other at the highest and lowest points, which may have made things drag on for a bit, but it all worked out in the end. And no matter how this thing ends, this whole ride we've been on together, I wouldn't change it for the world. Not one bit. Me neither. I... Star Butterfly and Marco Diaz are the stars of one of the most popular pairings from the Star vs. the Forces of Evil show. They lived in the same house and got so close that they defended each other, even amidst arguments. We don't need to get caught up in who saves who. All that matters is that we have each other's back. When Star's crush on Marco develops, their closeness makes it very hard to hide. And his relationship with Jackie makes it harder for Star. 
Then, Star gets into a relationship, and Marco is the one struggling. Eventually, they confess their feelings to each other, and share their first genuine kiss before becoming a couple. The differences in their personalities allows them to balance each other out, and their feelings are so pure that it creates a portal to merge their worlds together so they don't have to be apart. And it doesn't get more beautiful than that, does it? And I don't care. Because with or without magic, we belong together. Every great love story has a dramatic history, and there's really nothing as dramatic as childhood best friends falling in love, is there? Kim and Ron say there isn't. Ron is more laid back and spontaneous, where Kim is very sophisticated and likes being organized. It. Don't spray it. Like all friends, Kim and Ron butt heads a few times, and they tend to get caught in a web of misconceptions and the pains of growing older and apart. Of course, everyone else thinks they are a couple before they even realize they have feelings for each other. Their different personalities complement each other in the best ways, and by junior year, they were officially a couple. The most exciting part about Kim and Ron's relationship is how it almost mirrors relationships that go from best friends to lovers. You can see it coming, but you just don't know when it's gonna happen. We all know the hate-love story, but what about a love story that goes from hate to love and back again? The main couple from the animated series Hey Arnold is the perfect example of the endless cycle of love and hate in a relationship. Arnold loves Helga. Helga is a bully that really stresses Arnold's life. But all of that seems to be an external facade. Despite the constant hate she expresses, Helga actually likes Arnold to the point where she secretly helps him out and writes poems about him. On the other side of this strange pairing, we have Arnold, who is the recipient of Helga's non-stop bullying. He usually appears to be annoyed by it, but later on, he develops complicated feelings while trying to balance the mean and hateful side of Helga and her real side. After several seasons, moments, and adventures, they finally confess their feelings. Although Helga still acts mean to Arnold, it is clear that she is in love with him and truly cares about him. Tough love at its finest, right? You ever since I first laid eyes on your stupid football head, and from that moment and every moment since I've lived and breathed for you, dreamed of the moment I could finally tell you my sacred feelings and could grab you and kiss you and... Diamonds are forever, and this animated show may be proving that point. Steven Universe follows the adventures of the top pairing, Steven and Connie, who travel between different universes. Connie is a sensible and curious girl who learns how to fight in order to protect Steven and the gems. Steven is more of the insightful one whose bravery makes him put the weight of the world on his shoulders, but he soon learns to rely on others, especially Connie. You don't need any powers to be here with me. Doubling as their ship name, Stevani is a merge of the best parts of Steven and Connie, and although the fusion gets them into some trouble, it is a huge turning point in their relationship. I'm a fusion. While they admit their feelings for each other, the highest tip of their love story comes when Steven proposes to Connie, just before she leaves for college. Is it a no? It's a not now, Steven. She rejects the proposal with valid reasons, but Steven is so hurt that it takes an actual intervention for him to understand. That goes to show how genuine the love between Steven and Connie truly is and we can't help but adore the ship. The least I could do is just listen. I can't ask you to do that. I want to, Steven. I want to be a part of your universe. A love story from animation is bound to be filled with fantasy and near impossible scenarios. But when it comes to the best of fiction, Fry and Leela from Futurama are bringing us to the top tier. While the futuristic scenarios are for comic purposes, Fry and Leela's love story still holds a strong message.
No matter the universe, the year, or their appearance, Fry and Leela always find their way back to each other. Want to go around again? I do. Even when Fry attempts suicide, gets stuck in a different time, or embarrasses her, Leela still finds a way to reach him, and they rekindle their love. Their story goes to show that true love can withstand any and everything, including looking like an octopus. Like, this is not the end, but mostly just, I love you, Leela. Maybe I waited too long to say this, but I love you too. Ushering in our top three is one of the most famous couples in the animation world. Avatar Aang and Katara are an iconic duo for many reasons, above which is their captivating love story. Baby, you're my forever girl. When they first met, Katara makes it her mission to help Aang, as that is the best type of devotion anyone can show. Of course, their relationship started with a slow burn that had some fans wondering if they were going to be stuck in the friend zone forever. So full of happiness and love, it's reminded me how I feel about Appa and how I feel about you. But as they travel the world to defeat enemies and unlock Aang's powers, their gazes last longer and the blushes run deeper. Although the war between nations and the one between Aang's fan clubs may have threatened their relationship, they remained rock solid. Years later, after Aang passed away, Katara's love for him still waxes strong, and this gives them the rightful crown as one of the top love stories from a top cartoon show. And here it says, love is brightest in the dark, and has a picture of them kissing. Where are you going with this? Well... What if we kissed? Tying up the list nicely, all the way from Springfield, we have one of the most iconic couples, Marge and Homer. Her husband is a pain in the behind, and Marge knows this, but she chooses to stay for the purest reason. As much as Homer's antics tend to stress Marge out, she continues to put up with him because she loves him. Awesome breakfast, Marge. Breakfast in bed is so much better than breakfast in a chair. While they have long fights and Homer can't seem to stop himself from embarrassing her, they still find a way to make up and move on. <laughs> Considering the fact that Marge was the one who picked Homer up for prom and they've been going solid ever since, it is safe to say that Marge and Homer have cracked the formula for marriage and love. The Fairly Odd Couple is our fairly odd top stories from a cartoon. Cosmo and Wanda are the godparents of Timmy Turner, so their relationship is pretty much established for most of the show. However, their exciting relationship has earned them a spot at the top. Cosmo and Wanda argue a lot, just like an old married couple, but they are very protective of each other and their children. Come on, of Timmy! Gaze upon its splendor, Philip! Wow! The Hall of Timmy! Each picture is another good time we had with you! There sure are a lot of them! Another core part of their story is the fact that Cosmo's mom did not give approval of their relationship and marriage. Not because of anything personal with Wanda, but because she didn't think anyone was worthy of her son. But despite mom's reservations, Cosmo is in love with his wife and does everything to protect her happiness. From the daily struggles of being godparents of a young boy to navigating life as a couple, Cosmo and Wanda are as best as it gets for a fairly odd pair. You guys don't do anything halfway, do you? Nope, we're two halves of a whole idiot. From the new loves to the old couples, we have gone through the top love stories from the top cartoon shows. Although their stories, powers, universes, and appearances are different, there is an essential aspect of these love stories that play directly into real life. Oh, Fry! I guess I'm just feeling uneasy about us being so on again, off again. But if it were up to me, we'd be on all the time. Partners should always have each other's backs because that's the foundation to build every other thing. With that mutual strength and affection, you can conquer anything, from a fishbowl to an alternate universe. That's all for today. 
Thank you for joining us on the breakdown of the top 10 love stories from the top 10 cartoon shows. Take a look at this other recent clip by Director's Choice and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified with our latest videos.